Akron, Ohio, the rubber capital of the world and the fifth largest city in the state is the site for this college football showdown. And now let's head down to the coin toss and is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kickers got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He'll return it from the four-yard line, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Auburn's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage, and, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. Nothing there on the keeper. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had him fooled at first, but a nice play by the D. Booming kick. Not much there on that opening drive. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do to them. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties. It puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it. It's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Get to that quickly. And they make the stop at the 47. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. And that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Complete. He's got room. And he shoved out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Everybody was fooled on that one. And that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. Got a man, watch out here. Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled to the 37-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. He's got all day. There's a fumble. Scoops it up. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. But oh, 
this makes you nervous. Anytime a defender tried to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it, man, did it work out for him here for a big time play in the score. And he converts the extra point. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. Auburn in front, 7-0. The Auburn, the Auburn lines up for the kickoff. The kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Makes it out to about the 46. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. Slings it. Brought down at the 46. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. We got a second and two. Ball on the 46. Darts it to the left. This is incomplete. off and he's met immediately loss of two by the halfback he'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Auburn is up a score. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Five yards. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. From the 47 yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at the 27 yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. He's looking for six through his hands. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 27. They'll line up with five wide receivers. With a quick throw. They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. That's four yards on the play. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Auburn can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks away, and he's got it. Don't go anywhere, 
folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. The Tigers with a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Of all the games I've ever seen, of all the first halves we've covered this year, of every game I've ever watched during my long career covering this sport that I love and cherish so much, that certainly was one of the halves. I, come on. Ho-hum. So what? Nothing happened. Well, I mean, then I have to, you know, because you've been doing it for so long and you're the elder statesman, and since you've been covering football longer than I've been alive, I have to take your opinion. I, I, I have to go with it. I have to say that if you thought it was that boring, I'm on board. You know what? I mean, I, I always listen to the senior citizens of this world, and I will continue to for this broadcast. It was ho-hum. It was kind of boring. I agree with you, Mr. Davis. If I could find somebody to help me, I'd set you up for a chop block right now. <laughs> 15 yards. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we All welcome you back to the action the here. Just about set for the second half. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle around the 34-yard line. And he's going to be sacked. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. From their own 28-yard line, third down. Got it, and brought down immediately. Gets out to about the 42-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. That makes it first and ten. He makes his way to about the 22. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. And he makes it out to about the eight yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Touch 
touchdown, Auburn. That's what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field, chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Fumble. It's recovered. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. 17 to nothing, Auburn. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Just under two to go in the game. And he's tackled right away. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Fourth and long here after the sack. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Oh, here we go, Herbie. You gotta love it. Final few minutes. It's crunch time. Love to get into the fourth quarter with the game still yet to be determined. We'll find out who's gonna make a play to win this thing. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is gonna create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45. There's a missed tackle. He gets out to about the 37 yard line. Gain of eight yards. That'll make it third and one. So that's going to do it. The Tigers take this one. 17 0. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.